Hi there, welcome to station three of this MMI. I assume you've read through the scenario. Yes. Just to repeat, we have an 11 year old boy, James, who's diagnosed with terminal leukemia illness, and his parents have told the doctors not to tell the child the news. The boy then asks what the doctor asks the doctor what he has. What do you think the doctor should do in this situation? I mean, it's a tricky scenario, you know what I mean? Because, sure. look, if you're in that situation, however old you are, or whatever your mental state is, you want to know. Sure. So, I reckon, you know what, he deserves to know. And I talked to the pa parents and said, look, if I was in their situation, then yeah, I would tell the child, because if you're going to die, like, you want to know and you want to be able to prepare however old you are. Do you, know, do you know anything about capacity? Or do you think James will be competent enough to make this decision? Um, I mean, yeah, I've heard of the terms capacity and like when you can understand information and things like that. But in a life or death scenario, should that really matter? Because, like, like I said earlier, whether sure. you're a six-year-old or a 45-year-old, you should know when you're going to die. Okay, okay, I, I, I see where you're coming from. So moving on, uh, so James has now made good progress with the treatment and he was discharged from the care of the hospital. Unfortunately, a couple of years later, when James is 13, he relapses. Again, his parents asked the doctor not to tell James what's wrong with him. But now James is much more interested in his condition. So now, now that he's more interested and he appears to be older and perhaps more mature, what do you think you should do here? Look, it's two years later, and the parents are still saying the same things. So, you know what, I just listen to them and be like, look, I can't answer the questions because I've been told specifically by the parents not to and I tell the child this that look I can't answer but like if he wants to know more about his condition ask his parents they're the best so you feel it would be better if his parents told him the information it's not your responsibility yeah. do you feel yeah and also like stuff like this it's a bit of a sterile environment isn't it the doctor telling a young patient Whereas the parents could tell them like in the comfort of their own home, you know what I mean? I see. And be more comforting. Well, doctors generally have the duty to inform patients when they are at the correct capacity mm. uh, about their illness. So knowing that information, what would you do considering that? Yeah, like, it seems like maybe I, sh I should tell them. But I just wouldn't feel comfortable doing you it with such a young child. I understand. I understand. And I think it's better for the child that the parents tell them. Sure, okay. So moving on now, a few days after James is advised of his diagnosis, he asks to speak to you as a doctor, and he knows his parents won't agree with what you have to say. He wants to stop having treatment for his potentially terminal illness. What would you do in this scenario? It comes down to his age again, he's 13, like, a doctor's been through so much training, a doctor's been through so many years of medical school and then worked for so long. Like, the doctor will know what's best in this scenario. So I think, yeah, I'd continue to treat him like... You continue to treat him? Yeah, I think that's what's best for him, and that would be doing what's best in the situation. And do you not think the parents should have a say in, the, in his treatment? Um, I think they've, they've been part of it all from the start. But in this situation, it's life or death, possibly, potentially. So I think the doctor's the person who's in the best situation to just step in, make a decision, and do what's ultimately best for the child. Perfect. Thank you, Thank and you. good luck for the rest of the interviews. Thank you for watching this free tutorial from Medic Mind. To unlock 100 tutorials on topics such as MMI, Oxbridge, NHS structure, work experience, personality, and much more, click here now.